you've just bought an MGB, or even if you've had an MGB for several years, one of the things that can trip you up is to fold the hood down the correct way. Now, today I want to show you the best way of doing that to make sure that you don't cause damage when you fold the hood down by nipping the wheel screens into the hood frame or indeed pinching any of the fabric. As the hoods get older, they inevitably become more fragile. So it's a good thing to know how to do it right from scratch. The first thing to do is to remove the three press studs. One is here on the windscreen. One is here, if you could see that um, actually on the frame. And there's another one which is based right down here, which keeps the wind out from whistling around your ears. Now, it's most important to undo these, especially this one, because if you leave that intact, when you open the hood frame, it will try to rip this away and cause damage. So always remember, first three things, three on either side, get those all removed. The next thing is to unclip the hood frame from the windscreen frame. So these are the clips, they're just literally pulled straight down like this, and then just lift it up and lift it a little bit like sort of six inches clear so that um, you can then work on the back of the hood. The next job is to lift the so-called lifter dot pegs. There they go. There's the dots and there's the pegs. So the lifter dots are all taken off. And when they're taken off, you then can pull out the hooks, which I will do and just show you. There are the hooks which go in there. We'll do that on both sides of the uh, rear hood. Having freed those up, we can now lift the hood frame up a little bit more and then just release the back bar. Now the back bar is normally held in quite securely. This one's a bit tough. Hang on, bear with me. Uh, one up on this side here. Right and I'll show you where they're clipping onto. There's a back bar in the hood here and here. These hooks are actually called teardrops because of the shape of them. So that back bar just literally folds into there to clip it in place. So we remove that. And once that's removed, just basically drop the hood down into the cockpit area behind. Watch out for your seat belts because they will need to come around the outside. Now, here's where I'm going to show you what the risk of doing this is. These windows are very expensive. They're buyback, they're resistant to ultraviolet. Uh, and they're very flexible, but they won't stand being pinched into the mechanism of the frame. So the most important thing is to protect them by firstly folding them, not on the buyback, but on the fabric between the hood and the buyback. So fold them back and carry them the fold back all the way up so that it then will sit down into that area. So again, fold it along that section so you're not going to be nipping the hood in. Make, make a fold like that. And then you can, you can see that that will point down into that direction, into the well. Now this is my preferred method of doing it because we're now going to fold the whole of the hood mechanism down, feed this in so that even when the hood is folded right the way down, we're not actually going to be folding that rear screen up. We'll show you that the hood is actually laying there and it's not folded at all, but underneath it, the quarter light windows are actually tucked in quite neatly. So that is the hood actually folded down. Now, just to finish it off, tuck those down nice and neatly, and then you can put your half tonneau on um, and just trim the whole thing off and it's ready for your day's use. Now that is really important because you will not damage your hood doing it that way. If, however, you take these clips off here, and fold them back with all of these clips all still fastened, you're very certain that you're going to do some damage. You're either going to put excessive strain on some weakened fabric or some seams, or you're going to pinch the vibe back. And either way, it's a new hood. You cannot repair them. It's not an effective thing to do. So what I've shown you is very simple, very straightforward, but very important to make sure you get the full length of life out of your